Hey, back again. I'm going to do a quick video slash review on my Milwaukee die grinder. It's a uh, M18 fuel. I think it's got a little quarter inch chuck on it. Comes with the uh, tools to open and tighten that. It's pretty awesome. It's got a lot of power. Um, you can run it with a anything from like a 2 to a 12 amp hour battery uh, this thing saved me several times I was kinda hesitant on buying it because just the tool is about 200 bucks and uh, I just didn't want to spend the money until I actually used it for the first time and it probably saved me 30 minutes to an hour of work and I figured it'd come in pretty useful so uh, here's one example actually where I've used it. Um, let me get a light. That little notch right there. Okay. There's a bolt back behind there, which is that one. It holds this differential in on this ATV. And I could not get my socket in there. To get that out and it would have taken me forever to remove that whole winch mount and everything so all i did was just notch it out it took me 30 seconds to a minute and uh saved me a lot of time the socket fit right in there and i'm going to basically do the same thing on this okay if you can see i'm doing the rear diff seals on this prairie 360 kawasaki that i have all right and this little skid plate is attached to the trailer hitch that's on it. And uh, that bolt, that's a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And I don't want to put an open end box in wrench on it because it's uh, pretty rusty. And uh, that thing is in the way. So I'm going to notch it out. So I'm going to get everything set up. Hold tight. Okay. First thing you want to use, safety glasses. This thing, the only disadvantage that I can think of on this, number one, it's kind of big, but it's about the size of a corded one, so that's no big deal. Uh, but the other disadvantage is that this thing spins at either 20 or 25,000 RPM. There is no speed adjustment on it. Hopefully they'll come out with one in the future with a speed adjustment, but this thing is wide open, um, which is fine with me. Again, doesn't really bother me. I still don't regret buying it, but let's see how it works. I'm just gonna notch this out a little bit. I think that was about 20 or 30 seconds maybe but you see the difference okay now I can uh, take my 10 millimeter socket slide it right on there and it fits fine because I notched it out so again if you're thinking about getting one of these it is worth its weight in gold as far as I'm concerned and uh, that right there just saved me and whoever else ever works on this thing a lot of time so definitely worth it uh, plenty of power I don't regret buying it I would definitely buy it again so uh, stay tuned there's gonna be more videos to come thanks a lot